A Sepulpa teenager is determined to find answers. She has an extremely rare disease with no known cure. But she's hopeful about a new clinical trial she's set to be a part of. News on 6's Ryan Gillen joins us live to explain. Jonathan, Caden Wood, Cadence Wood says this is the most hopeful she's been in the four years since she's been diagnosed. Kimberly that's, Wood that, remembers I mean, exactly when she knew thing. something was wrong her, with her, her daughter, cousin. Cadence. I had picked up a blue shirt and she was like, you know, I don't like purple. Instinct told her something was wrong. After many tests, the news from doctors was something unexpected. The doctor just told us that I have Wolfram syndrome. And we didn't, we didn't know what that meant. Wolfram syndrome is so rare, one of Cadence's doctors had to Google it. Every one in 500,000 people are diagnosed with it. And it usually starts with type 1 diabetes. Yeah. Everything about it is awful. And so, I mean, it says she's going to go blind, she's going to go deaf, she's going to have seizures, she's going to die at a young age. It's been four years since Cadence was diagnosed. I had a lot of doubt in myself. While there isn't a cure, Cadence and her mom never lost hope. A year ago, they found a clinical trial through the Washington University School of Medicine. They hope this is the answer they have been searching for. The second she told me, I was so excited. In the next couple of weeks, Cadence will go to St. Louis for the trial. She's the first person to participate in it. This is something I've got to do. Kimberly is terrified, but hopes it will save her daughter's life and help others. Maybe the next person that gets diagnosed, their doctor won't have to Google it. This could not only save my life, but this could save so many others. Cadence and her family don't know when this trial will start, but in the meantime, they're trying to stay positive. Ryan Gillen, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.